you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. So today is Foundation Friday with my little assistant in the background and obviously we're not in our normal studio um, because we're just doing this on the fly. So today we are doing the new milk makeup foundation and I want to read you some of the claims and I actually wanted to look how many colors they have and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, bless you, 13, 14, 15, almost, it looks like 18 or 19 uh, colors, which is awesome. They have a beautiful range. And so the claims are is, this is what they say. They say, it is an ultra, uh, an ultra weightless full coverage foundation with an oil-free, silicone-free formula that lets skin breathe. It actually is also dimethicone-free, which is the same as silicone. Um, it's also designed to apply and wear foundation easy. It's a blur liquid matte formula. Uh, has a flawless full coverage on the first swipe and basically it's supposed to be blurring foundation um and it doesn't talk about it being super long wearing or anything of that nature but it is all about blurring so i'm really excited to look at that today now it is also formulated without parabens sulfates and sulfates and phthalates it's also a cruelty free company which i love and um this product actually is vegan gluten free which is fantastic I love all of that so let's get to it all right so I have tried this formula out before I have not given it the wear test but I did want to see kind of how it was sitting on the skin now since this is a matte formula I definitely am going to need a primer I could tell when I wore it without a primer that it was sitting in fine lines and it kind of started to do that weird thing where it broke up along my um, chin so I wanted to wear it with a primer now I'm gonna wear it with a very easy primer this is the hangover primer from Too Faced. This is also silicone free, which is perfect. So I'm going to put that all over the face. So when I tried this, I tried it with a brush and it didn't go on. Um, it didn't go on amazing. I'll tell you that. You Thank you, baby girl. So um, I'm going to try a brush on one side of my face because um, I have a primer on, so it is a little bit different. And then I'm going to try a beauty blender on the other side. So I am in color golden light. And let's get to I'm it. I'm holding this for you. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm going to be real honest. I don't love it with a brush. So I'm going to try it with my beauty blender. And I am using very little product. It is a very kind of dry formula, obviously being matte. Okay, so much better for me with a beauty blender. I mean, like world's difference. I would say with one little kind of dollop, it is not um, super full coverage. Um, obviously with a, a brush, you're gonna get more coverage. So if you want more coverage quicker, I would use a, uh, a brush, but only if you are more on the oily side. And I'm not gonna put too much more on my forehead. What do you guys think? It looks beautiful, very easy to apply. Okay, sorry, uber distracted today. Um, so just I think it's beautiful I really do it looks like skin I wouldn't call this super matte it has a luminous texture to it pores are showing up a little bit right here I don't know if I would call it necessarily blurring but it does look really pretty right here and you know what I actually do is I have their new concealer that I was going to use as well and see if we could try that out today. This concealer is supposed to be like shape tape. And I've used it once before and I found it to be a little bit drying, but I wasn't really focusing on that. Great coverage. I would say lightweight to medium coverage concealer. So it's definitely not a dry concealer. Um, but it is not a full, full coverage concealer, which I love. I think it's done an amazing job. What do you guys think? I think the skin looks gorgeous. 
I mean, wow. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so my makeup is fully on. It went on gorgeously. I barely powdered anything. I just used my um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Just literally right here and a little bit down the nose center area, but I didn't set any of the rest of the face. Powders went on gorgeous on top of it. I am kind of loving it. Um, the only thing I am not super into is that the pores right here you can still see, so I don't know about the claim about the blurring, um, and right here is a little funky. I'll just say that. It's a little funky, but I, it is weightless on the skin. I mean, it is weightless like I can't even tell I have a full coverage foundation on and I just get like really excited when I try new foundations and they actually work because it's been a rough go if, as, as you know but I have some amazing foundation Fridays coming up over the next two weeks after this so please stay tuned um, yeah so we are going to go throughout about our day my mom is in town and we're gonna go shopping and be out in the heat and really give this a good test and I'll see you in a few hours all right hey you guys Guys, so we are hour five and a half right now and look how good this foundation looks I am blown away I think this foundation looks so beautiful my mom even was like gosh your makeup looks so pretty today I'm like I have a full coverage foundation on can you tell does it look cakey and she's like no it looks really pretty and she actually wants to try it so I'm definitely gonna let her try it as well because we're very similar colors um, but so far so good it feels so light it feels so good no weird breaking up on my chin um, so we are going strong so I will uh, see you guys in a little bit all right you guys so there is a slight party dance party going on in my my house right now to singing pigs music so if that's what you hear in the background that's what that is um, so we are at hour 10 we're gonna call it this foundation and concealer honestly what do you guys think this concealer 10 hours later is really looking good hi Bubba my cat um, and the foundation is looking so good I definitely give this foundation two three million times a thumbs up i think that it'd be beautiful for almost every single skin type i think that mature skin would love this coverage and the feeling on the skin is just it's just you know second to none i guess i would say so it is definitely going in my bag of favorite foundations and i would love to hear from you guys and see if you guys try it i love it i think it's fantastic and i love that it doesn't have any of the nasty ingredients in it so um yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one lots of love for me to you bye you guys Mwah.